Hi, this is Merle Jans from the Mount Lebanon Public Information Office, and I'm here with Fire Chief Nick Sahida, and we're going to talk a little bit about keeping the streets clear for fire emergencies. Nick, has this been an ongoing problem? Uh, I do believe so. I'm, I'm not so sure if uh, there's more vehicles in the community or we've just become better at recognizing the issue. Uh, I can tell you as, as I drive around a lot as a resident of the community, um, there are many areas where I become very concerned that if there were a fire emergency on that street, that the fire apparatus would not be able to get to a resident's home. And as a result, you're starting this new initiative, Room to Respond? Yes, we've started a new initiative. Um, it's called Room to Respond, and it's a considerate parking initiative. And what we want residents to do is to take into consideration the safety implications. If there were an emergency on their street and a fire truck was not able to negotiate their street, because of how the residents parked on that street. And what are some of the things that you're asking residents to do? Um, I think one of the primary things that residents could do uh, in many of our narrow streets is not park directly across from another vehicle that is parked on the street. That really narrows the, the travel lane for the fire apparatus. Um, so if residents would kind of offset their parking in a zigzag pattern, where we could actually snake down the street, okay. um, make sure you park close to the curb when possible. Mm -hmm. um, just, just those types of issues and taking those things into consideration. Due to new emission standards, the overall width of fire apparatus has increased from 96 to 99 inches, and that's not including the mirrors. Our, our ladder truck requires an additional 11 inches on each side of the truck for a total width of almost 11 feet. And if we need to set that ladder truck, um, the outriggers, uh, extend 48 inches on each side for a total area of almost 19 feet. Residents having guests for parties and large contractor vehicles compound the parking problem. The fire department is asking residents to be considerate of others in your neighborhood by taking a few simple steps. Please park as close to the curb as possible when parking on the street. Never park directly across from another vehicle, instead parking in a zigzag pattern allowing more room for emergency vehicles. If you have a large number of guests, try to park as many vehicles off the road in your driveway as possible. While we understand this may cause some minor inconveniences by needing to shuffle vehicles as guests leave, emergency vehicle access is, is of high importance. If vehicles cannot be parked off the roadway, ask your guests to park along one side of the road. Guests may have to walk a little further, but it will help. If you have workers at your home, ask them to park off the road when possible. If they cannot, Ask that they use common sense in selecting where they park based on the location of other parked cars, keeping a clear path open for through traffic. Never park within 20 feet of an intersection, per the vehicle code, so emergency vehicles can make the turn onto your street. Do not park illegally at an, inter at an intersection and activate your vehicle's emergency flashers, believing this will exempt you from law enforcement. And as always, do not park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant, per the vehicle code. As part of this initiative, the fire department will be conducting a media campaign within the community, distributing informational flyers on problem streets, and placing flyers on vehicles that do not conform to the considered parking initiative. Unless they're in violation of the vehicle code, at which time their vehicle will be cited by the police department. Our goal is to get residents and visitors to think about emergency vehicle access without having to pursue passing ordinances that will limit parking to one side of a street. For more information about the Considerate Parking Initiative or any other fire department programs or initiative, please visit our website, www.mtlfd.org.